okay. All right, so welcome everyone to our Facebook training. I just wanted to, we just covered Facebook events on our last social media call. So I wanted to just come back and do a quick video to show you exactly what we were talking about and how to create a group and how you can actually engage in a group that's already created and still get the, uh, you know, get the interactions that you're looking for. So as you see here, we're actually in our um, Facebook uh, MIT page. If you don't know how to get there, again, it's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash MIT, the number one team, all spelled out, no numbers, like one is O-N-E, and that way you can stay connected, okay? Now, once you actually um, get into the group page, uh, what you're going to do is you want to come over to, uh, well, I just want to show you what an event actually looks like. And so here are a couple of events that we have on our millionaires and training team. One that's coming up is actually in Willenboro on the 29th and you can actually, well, the reason that you're not able to really share outside of this group is because it's in our private page. But when you create your group, you can actually copy and paste exactly what you see here to um, to actually um, get engagement for your meeting or for the meeting if you um, choose to. So here I'm actually going to do that. And the first step you want to take when you actually create an event is you want to first go to your personal page. Uh, you go to events. You hit create event. The one thing you want to remember when you create an event is that the very first thing that you're going to see here in default is going to create you a private event for a meeting. Like what we're talking about, you don't want it to be private. You want everyone that you can possibly be connected to know about this event. So you want to change, click down the drop down box and go from private event to public event. Um, if you have a fan page outside of your personal page, you just want to make sure this is clicked. If you don't have a fan page, don't worry about it. It will only say your name. Okay. Now the next step is going to ask you is to create an event photo. Okay. If this is too much, remember you can also engage in someone else's group page so that you could actually, um, you know, stay connected to the group and still invite individuals there. But anyway, first step you want to do is add your event photo. Okay, I already have an event photo saved that I could use, and that's clicking there. You want to title your event, and I'm going to title it Business Briefing for Future Millionaires, you know, something like that. Okay, it's going to be at the Willenboro Public Library in New Jersey. Okay, so the great thing about this part of the in the um the process of creating a group is you can actually easily find a location um to post without having to you know type the actual address and if someone's on their phone they could literally be on their phone go to the facebook group click it and the directions are there okay the time you want to also pick the right date <laughs> and also the time which is at 7 p.m and it's only an hour meeting, but we're going to say hour and a half just in case it goes over. And you can just put a, a brief description about the event. Um, I, we can put multi-millionaire. Let's call him a self-made. Multi, multi-millionaire earner. Kenny Watkins will be in Willenboro, New Jersey, explaining, you got to spell it right, <laughs> explaining, wait, let's put sharing, I don't like explaining, uh, it will be in Willenboro, New Jersey, sharing the great news about how big money 
helping people. If you okay this is the boring part because I'm just typing in this part this section um, something I would want to be in here if you know anyone in the area invite them And then you can you can always you know change the wording. Um, you can uh, you know always make updates, but for the sake of time, we're just going to stop there and create an event. And what's going to happen is going to once you create your event, which you'll see in just a moment. All right, immediately the picture will be there. It'll have the location. It'll have the address, whatever it is you wrote here, and then you can start inviting people. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm just going to just start inviting all of these people to this event. Um, you can even type everyone that's in the MIT page, okay? Um, you can also, so once you actually start inviting individuals and having people there, um, it's, you want to show your guest list, and as your guest list starts growing, um, people will become engaged in this group, Okay. Uh, I wanted to also add Kenny as a co-host, which you can do, as you can see. Kenny, you're watching. Now, for a person, if you are, like, brand new to Facebook or you're not computer savvy, what I would do is I would go into an event like this and I would start inviting my people that I'm connected to on Facebook or through email, and that way you are able to really... Um, still get the same exact results if somebody from as if you're the person that created it. And this is just like a home base for people to be reminded of the events and it stays in front of them. Because one of the things that you want to remember is that um, staying in front of the person is the, ideal, is the reason why you're on social media. And so as you can see in regards to staying in front of them, they do give you options like posting different topics, you can also post pictures. You can create polls and ask individuals questions. And that's really an awesome tool to also do the same exact thing, which is um, going to stay in front of the people that's connected. Now, I want to show you this. I just invited Lorraine. And this is perfect timing, Lorraine. Thank you so much to our shout out to our MVP. You see, Lorraine is going to your event, Business Briefing for Future Millionaires, okay? And so now Lorraine is going to show up here. See, now it says Ikira and Lorraine is going. And more and more people, as you see it, is going to start saying that, you know, they're going to this event. Um, the more and more people will actually show up here. So I'm just going to keep clicking away, clicking away, clicking away. Okay. And so this is our video I wanted to show you real quick. And the last thing I want to show you before we wrap up real quick is how to invite people. You can choose friends, you can choose, um, and it, they may actually have different um, groups that you can choose, like this. You can hit select all to make it a lot more simple than, you know, you know, just clicking through here. You can invite everyone that you know that's from North Plainfield, or your different areas, or the areas that you know. Okay, I'm just showing you a few examples of how this works. Okay, you can just click from other um, briefings. Okay. All right, let's select all. Let's just send out those invitations, just like you see here. And that's one way. Another way that you can um, talk about this event is to share the event. You can actually hit the share button. You can put it on your own timeline. 
You can put it on a friend's timeline, which I don't really recommend unless they ask you to. You can share it in a group, which I'm definitely going to share this in. Uh, let's see. You can share this in a group. Boom. Okay. You can also um, share this on a fan page if you have one. Okay. And this is just your way of being able to getting the word out. I'm sorry, that's an event. But if you click here and hit share event, you'll be able to share it wherever you choose to. Okay. If you want to put it on your fan page and that's for individuals who might be a little bit more advanced on social media. Okay, you can hit post. Okay, and that's just based some basic things that you can do. Staying engaged, staying in front of individuals, creating this event that gives you an opportunity to be connected to um, all types of people, allowing your teammates and other fellow teammates to chime in and invite people. It's a great, great tool. So with that being said, we're going to wrap up our social media training on how to do an event on Facebook. You guys have been really awesome. Um, and we look forward to continuing to grow our businesses and sharing our information through the power of events. You have a blessed evening, everybody.